fine. I'm fine too, Edgar. So Edgar, tell me, how was your day yesterday, Edgar? Did you have a good day yesterday? Uh, no. Uh, also, uh, I had a, a busy, uh, a bad day. Uh, many problems at the office. Uh, some projects uh, that we have uh, right now. Um, how, how can I say, uh, salieron repentinamente? Ah, yes. Let me, let me wait for it for you. I'm going to share my screen. Thank you, Miguel. So you can say, you can say, we got, you can say, we got some sudden projects. Okay. We, we got some sudden projects. Algunos proyectos salieron repentinamente. Okay. okay, Edgar, so you were like busy yesterday? Yeah. Okay, Edgar, and how many new projects did you catch? Five projects. Five new projects. And tell me, Edgar, when is the deadline for those projects? Uh, well, uh, the, the bigger uh, project is, uh, the biggest, if I'm not, the biggest, the biggest, the the biggest, biggest project. project. But the biggest project, uh, the deadline is uh, August 8th. Wow. So, yeah, it's very, it's very soon. soon. <laughs> yeah, very soon. And also, the this one uh, is the most uh, conflictive. Ah, is it more, you can say, problematic? Problematic, yes. right? Oh, so, yeah. Problematic. At least today is another day. <laughs> <laughs> so, what time did you finish working yesterday? What time did you stop working yesterday? Well, uh, well, if if I wanted to to continue working maybe at 1 p.m. or 2 a.m., but I, I don't like uh, do that, so uh, I stopped uh, uh, like uh, eight nine o'clock okay. because I was started at. 7 a.m. 7 a.m. And I think it was like all day? Yeah, almost uh, 12 hours. It's too much, huh? Too much. Uh, and Edgar, so after having uh, such a stressing day, uh, having such a difficult day, Edgar, what do you usually do, Edgar, to be relaxed? Uh, for example, yesterday I... I must uh, go out on my house and take a uh, a breath, a deep breath. Uh, I was going to the bakery, <laughs> uh, buy some bread, and at the end, uh, I made uh, some tea, uh, and I watched uh, a Simpson cartoon, and that's all. Okay. Don't you like to listen to music to get relaxed? Yes. Yeah. Also, well, the my, my routine starts at six a.m. because uh, at the early of the day, uh, I I go to the gym. So ah. this is my my relax time on all the day. Ah, okay. Ah, so before you starting to work, you go to the gym? Yeah, right now. Okay. Is it, is it near your house? No. Uh, I go to the... to the... Uh, uh, some place. All right. And Edgar, how often do you go to the gym? Uh, well, every day. Every day. Very good. Yes, Edgar. And how long do you spend there? One hour, one hour and a half? Uh, at least one hour and a half. If I have more time, uh, probably two hours. Wow. <laughs> okay. So uh, you, you are you are fit. 
Uh, I'm not because obviously, for example, I love the bread. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> tacos, so fast food, uh, yeah. Fast food. <laughs> Snacks. Uh, junky food, you know. <laughs> junk food is like a new food. Anyway, and tell me, what did you do last weekend, Edgar? How was last weekend for you? Uh, it was very relaxed. Uh, I was uh, take uh, uh, some classes for uh, a new course that I have right now. And uh, the only important thing that I think I I did uh, was I saw the the new movie Top Gun. So, ah yes, yeah. Um, and tell me what is a, that movie like? What is that movie like? Uh, well, uh, I don't know if you saw the the first one, the old version. Or it's like uh, early smart, early is nineteen. Okay, I d I'm not sure, but I think it's the early early is nineteen or uh, at the end of the eighties. All right. Can you can you please tell me the name of the movie again, please? Top Gun. Top with, ah yes, I, top, I some cross. It's like a, it was maybe in the second, like in the eighties, late eighties, early nineties, something like that. No, I I didn't have the chance to to watch it, but but I heard very good comments about about that old version. What about the the new version? Is is it good? Well, let me tell you something because I'm very fan of the old version. So. Oh, really? Yeah, this this one, the, the the new version is very very nice, amazing because uh, well the the director uh, uh, he, he was very careful with the uh, with the all things that happens on the old version and um, um I'm bringing of the of the new of the new version so. It was very, very, very nice. Edgar. So you went to the movie, right? Yeah. Edgar. Edgar, and after the movie, what, what did you do? Did you, did you go to eat something? Did you have, uh, I don't know, uh, dinner? Yeah. Uh, uh, I went to the, to the Italianist restaurant. Um, All right. And finally, uh, buy a, a milkshake. Okay, <laughs> that's what I told you. That's what I told you that uh, I'm not a, a, a fit person because the other thing that I love it is milkshakes. <laughs> Edgar, and how often do you drink milkshakes? Well, at least one, one of the other week. One, okay, one, one a week, one per week. Okay, Edgar, one per week. Do, do, do you smoke? No, I don't like it. Ah, okay. okay. That's good, guy. That's good. Uh, how can I say son and asparot? It's one for others. It's one for others. It's one. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Edgar. Edgar, I'm telling you, what is your favorite food? So I know it's milkshakes. I know it's bread. But what about for Mexican? What is your favorite Mexican food? Uh, obviously, tacos. Tacos, okay. <laughs> How often do you eat tacos, Edgar? Uh, not at often, the milkshakes, but uh, probably twice per month. All right. All right. All right. Very good. Uh, Edgar, how many tacos do you eat? Or how, how many tacos can you eat? <laughs> it's a tricky <laughs> question because, yeah, if I, I can uh, eat probably... 10 or 12 tacos, but <laughs> I think it's it's not it's not healthy for, for my body. But at least seven or eight tacos, I think it's my average. You say 12 tacos in a row? Look at this. Look at this oh, expression, okay? 
Todas esas cosas, oh. all of these together, in a row, es el, eh, uno tras otro. Es decir, en, en un mismo plato, o sea, en, en una misma ocasión que te sientas. Todas esas cosas, in a row. Todas esas cosas, in, oh. in a row, Edgar. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, at, the same, at the same time, obviously, no, because I don't like it. Uh, it uh, a cold uh, tacos. So I, <laughs> okay. I preferred uh, separate in, in three or four uh, rounds. Okay. <laughs> three tacos per round. Yeah. Very good, Edgar. <laughs> okay. Okay, Edgar. That, 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 well, that's all. I, I also like tacos. I also eat a lot. But my favorite tacos are pastor. What about you, Edgar? Yeah, I think uh, as a as a Chilangos, uh, the it's our our flag, our him 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 him. I'm not sure. Yes. Him me. Him me. Yes. <laughs> okay, so yeah, but but obviously, uh, Suadero, I think is the 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 other option. Uh, Uh, after, after Pastor, obviously. Very good, Edgar. Excellent, excellent. Okay, Edgar, excellent. Edgar, and what about, um, what about tortas, Edgar? Do you like tortas? I'm not very fan, uh, because obviously the, the bread, it's, it's, it's very unhealthy. So, I, I, I preferred, uh, Tacos. tacos. Uh, yeah. and, um, what do you prefer to drink when you eat tacos? Uh, soda or beer? Uh, yeah, beer. Beer, okay. What are your favorite beers? beers? Uh, well, uh, it's complicated because I like all kind of, of beers. But, uh, for example, when you, uh, when you eat in tacos, uh, I think the best option is uh, a lager, a lager beer. Lager, okay. Don't you like sol, sol beer? Uh, no, I don't like it. No, <laughs> no I, I'm I'm very picky with uh, with the beers. <laughs> but, yeah, but I don't know why in the, in the United States sol beer is very famous. America, no. American people say that uh, no, that they they no. really like uh, uh, beer. I, I was living uh, in in the United States some some time. Yes. Uh, and let me tell you that the the most uh, popular beer is Corona. No, no. So. Exactly, exactly. Corona. Sorry. Yes. Corona. Yeah. Yeah. Cor yes. Corona is. Uh, I. It's. It's crazy because, for example, uh, in my personal opinion, I don't like uh, Corona beer, and in the United States. Uh, The price for one bottle, welcome. Uh, it's uh, probably five, six, uh, seven on the mall. Because if you or, want, uh, if, if you want on 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 bar or yeah, or on on a restaurant, probably it's seven or eight dollars. Oh, so it's, it's very expensive because it's it's, it's imports beer. But exactly that. Here in Mexico, not many people like Corona beer. I don't know why. For example, for me, I like it. Okay, but um, I have met some other people who have told me, you know, Miguel, I don't like Corona. Yeah. I, well, the the things that I like so much in United States, probably because it's the 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 biggest uh, economy around the world. So uh, is that when you go to the, the, the mall, you can see and you can uh, choose whatever beer that you want, no matter if it's import of the Alaska or India. Okay. You have many, op many options. So I, I liked that because, for example, here in Mexico, it's... I'm not sure if it's probably because uh, 
the the business company uh, related with with alcohol or beers uh, probably uh, they they could be lost some uh, market so probably if uh, they don't open uh, international markets for many beers but at least we 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 deserve uh, this this open market. Exactly, this variety of products, right? Right. It's like it's a, that, that is true. It's like in the United States, you can find several brands, several beer brands, and um, they are there. Okay, but here in Mexico, no. I think here in Mexico, you need to go to special places to find yeah. beer. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, well. Uh, I like some, it's a uh, online uh, retail, the name is uh, Beer House. Uh, it's, it's, it's very nice because, for example, uh, all time we have uh, uh, specials or promotions. Uh, for example, if you have, uh, if you uh, buy at least uh, 100 pesos, they give you uh they will give you uh a, a 12 can uh for import for import for, for example the the last uh ball that i uh did uh they gave me uh, a 12 uh guinness uh beer oh really yeah and um, um, only it was uh, uh, a big deal because every every can uh, costs uh, sixty pesos. Right. So it was a a, a very big deal. Okay. Well, I didn't know. Huh? I know about the place, but I didn't know about this promotion. Amazing, amazing, good. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so let, let's begin. In the meantime, the other residents arrive. Okay, let's continue with our study for business idioms. I prepared this for you and for the class. Okay. okay so this is um. I hate the teacher Jose. <laughs> okay, so don't do okay. We do it. So Jose is arriving, so okay, he must continue with, it, with the lesson. Okay, let's Hello, Jose. Good morning, Jose. How are you? Hello, Jose. Can, can, can you hear us? Yes. Uh, good morning, teacher. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, of course, Jose. Very good. good welcome, morning. Jose. Welcome. Thank you so much. Very good, Jose. Okay, Jose. So I'm going to give you the, the control. Today we have Edgar and the, the others are, are arriving a bit late, okay? Okay, thank you so much. Very good. Okay. okay. Very good. Yeah. Thank you, Jose. Thank you so much, teacher. Thank you, Jose. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Edgar. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Miguel. Have a good day. Thank you. Okay. Good morning, Edgar. How are you today? Good morning, Jose. I'm fine. And you? That's nice. I'm also fine. Thank you so much. Well, um, do you have any questions before we start with today's lesson? No, I don't have questions right now. You don't have? Okay. Well, so do you remember what we talked about in our previous lesson? Uh, uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, we practice uh, some activities uh, just in uh, accepting suggestions and refusing suggestions. Uh, obviously, just it, uh, model verbs. Okay. Well done. Okay. As you mentioned in our previous lesson, we did some activities for you to practice your speaking skills. In this case, we, you, talk, you and your classmates uh, talk about uh, different situations using suggestions, advice, and some model verbs. Okay, well. So let's continue with today's lesson that is called Interesting Places. 
Today is Tuesday, uh, June 6th. So let's start. Okay, so basically today's topic is about uh, for you to learn about unique hotels. And also you will learn how to write an email about a trip. Okay, so to start with today's lesson, I have some questions. Well, two questions, three questions. Okay, do you ever stay in hotels? Have you ever? Yes, I, I ever stay in a hotel. Okay, you usually stay in a hotel. Okay, what, what's fun about staying in a hotel? Uh, the most important thing that I find find about staying is that uh, you have all the uh, amenities. Okay. Okay. Well, so how many times do you stay in hotels during the year? Do you travel a lot? Uh, well, right now, no, but uh, uh, in the past, uh, I try to, I try to travel many times. Okay, well, that's, that's good. And here we have this question. What do you think, or what do you know about unique hotels? Do you know the word unique? Uh, is it like a special? Yes, special. What do you know about unique hotels? Um, well, I think uh, in my visual, uh, probably when you talk about our unique hotels, the, the first thing that I uh, come into my, to my mind is, uh, the price, I think it's very expensive. So, okay. Uh, only I, I think that when you talk, you, when you talk with that you need hotels, it's a luxurious topic or something like that. Okay. Well, you mentioned about the price of hotels and when you read the word unique. Okay, so do you have any experiences staying at hotels uh, that you would like to share with, with me? Sure, uh, absolutely. Uh, I think it's uh, uh, a roller coaster when you uh, book in a hotel because sometimes uh, you, you don't have the, the, the feedback or the real things that happens on the hotel. You just uh, see the, the, the nice pictures, the, the nice uh, slide. So probably it's, well, uh, we need to, to, to be careful with uh, when you uh, book in a, a hotel because obviously uh, you have uh, a good and, and a bad uh, experiences. Okay, that's, that's interesting to know. And has this ever happened to you? Do you have, a, have you ever had a bad experience staying in a hotel? Yes, uh, for example, uh, the thing that I do when I stay in a hotel, I don't like booking on, on, the, on the website of the hotel. Uh, I, I prefer uh, booking on Airbnb uh, app. And obviously when, when you uh, booking uh, on this app, uh some hostess uh, is are uh, many uh, tricky with with the with the bookings uh, with the places uh, yeah I think it, the 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 bad experience uh, 
work with uh, Airbnb. Okay, Edgar, thank you so much for sharing these experiences that you have had uh, at staying at hotels. Well, thank you so much. Um, good morning, Mehami. How are you? Good morning, good morning. Fine, fine. Thank you. I have many problems with my internet, but uh, now it's okay. Okay, thank you. Don't worry. Well, we are talking about, with Edgar, about um, interesting places. In this case, you are talking about hotels. And we have some questions here on the screen. And I asked Edgar before, do you ever stay in hotels, Benjamin? Uh, yes, sometimes. Sometimes. And what's fun about staying in a hotel? What do you think? Uh, what's fun about staying? Ah, okay, I'm, I'm fun in, in for, for, the, for the pool. Maybe or for the for the, um, the play place play area or or the or the restaurant or or many many other other areas in the areas in the, in the hotel. Okay, okay, that's nice. The areas in a hotel. Okay. So, what do you know about unique hotels? Do you know the word unique? Uh, what, what is unique hotels? Unique hotels. Okay. In this case, uh, are like special hotels or very unique. Uh, unique is like unique hotels or hotels that don't compare to others' hotels. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm only staying in in regular hotels. Okay. Not in, in unique hotels or hotels very special or nothing, nothing, nothing like like that. Okay. But what do you think about them? Do you think they they can be expensive? Or what do you think mm. about? Them? Or have you, what have you ever heard about? This? Mm. Mm, I don't know. Mm, I think uh, unique hotels is is very fun, very very special, and and the unique hotels have many activities for 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 expense with, with your family, for 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 the kids. Mm, I don't know. Okay. Well, you mentioned different activities for your family. Okay, that's nice. Do you have any experience that you would like to share with with us? Um, I don't. I don't remember <laughs> at this moment um, a special experience in the in the hotels. <laughs> Only, only stay in the hotels for, 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 for sleep and, and regular stay in, in outdoors in the, in the, in the vacations. No, no, I don't, I don't stay, stay in, in the hotels a lot of time. Okay, thank you so much, Benjamin. Well, let's see um, in the book, we have some, we have an article about unique hotel experiences. Okay, can you see this article? Can you see the book? Yes, Jose, I can see the book. Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, teacher Miguel just shared with us a link with about different and unique hotels. And here also we have some three exciting hotels that you will never forget. Unique hotel experience. Okay, here um, we're talking about three different hotels and what they make it unique. 
Okay. Um, okay, we have the first one that say controversy, Trump Hotel, the Netherlands. Um, Edgar, can you start reading this short paragraph, please? Absolutely. Um, well, it's easy to see why this bed and breakfast is one of our list of the unusual places to stay. Don't worry, uh, this old city trumps are not going to take you any, anywhere. The owners got all trumps from Germany and Holland and converted them into comfortable, cozy rooms with American, Italian, French, and Mexican temps. The owners sleep in a old double deckers bus from England and cook in a French pan. It's definitely a place for people who like trains, planes, cars, and other transportation memorabilia. Okay, thank you so much, um, Edgar. Well, do you have any questions with this uh, short paragraph? With this first paragraph, what do you think make this hotel unique? Uh, I have a uh, What is the meaning of memorabilia? It's on, at the end of the of the text of the paragraph. Okay, okay move in. Um, if I'm not mistaken, these are a word to describe some some objects that have some kind of interest for some people. For example, we have um, for people who like trains, planes, cars, and other transportation memorable. Okay, some it's like other important objects. If I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. oh well, as teacher Miguel wrote. Things that are memorable. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, thank okay. you, Mesa. Okay, and well, so in this first paragraph, what do you think uh, make this hotel unique? What aspects do this hotel has that makes it unique? Uh, well, first of all, uh, uh, it's uh, trams, uh, old trams. Uh, okay. These trams uh, are in, from Germany and Holland, and uh, the the designer with uh, different themes uh, are different themes around the world. Probably, it's the the they uh, make it uh, a unique hotel experience. Okay, excellent, Edgar. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Again. Let's see another example of a unique hotel. Let's uh, let's do number three, please, Benjamin. Can you help me reading this short power? Mm, okay, uh, giraffe. Main or Nairobi? Nairobi. When we ask the owners of this African hotel, what should we pack? They say, don't forget to bring a camera. It's good to know from the elegant rooms of this beautiful manor, you have superb views of the Gong Hills. Not only that, but a herd of giraffes lives on the manor, manor, and you know you don't have to try hard to get a great photo. The, giraffe, the giraffes want, wander around the park their heads draw the bedroom windows. They even turn up at the breakfast table too. Okay, thank you so much, Mihamim. Well, I think that this is a very known hotel because I think you have seen many pictures of it on the internet. So what do you think about this hotel, um, Mihamim? Uh, it's a hotel uh, for with 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 giraffes with with animals into the into the hotel, and the the people can can stay 
many 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 close many too many close to the to the girls and it's a it's a unique hotel for for this okay excellent Benjamin. well as you mentioned what makes this hotel unique is that you can be very close to these animals these giraffes and you can also as it mentioned uh, in the last sentence they even turn up at the breakfast table okay que ellos siempre se acercan cuando estás desayunando okay and i think this is uh, something interesting too well so far do you have any questions with vocabulary from this paragraph no okay thank you well we have this it's, yes. it's three, three minutes so i will restart the the session okay and then we, we continue okay thank you so much teacher very good thank you okay thank you i know but what is the issue because you can come close <laughs> Okay, guys. Uh, well, Benjamin has enjoyed Jay, but let's continue. Well, uh, let's do an activity. In this case, can you hear me? Andrea? Sure. Okay, I'm gonna send a link in the chat so you can access this activity. Um, please let me know when you are in the activity so I can explain instructions. Oh, money. Okay, thank you so much. Well, uh, well, in this activity, as you can see, we have used this platform before. Do you remember? Yes, yes, I remember. Okay, well, so basically we have in this activity, the question, well, let's wait for Benjamin so I can explain. Okay, can you hear me, Benjamin? Uh, yes. Okay, well, I'm gonna resend the link. Okay, here we have this link of this activity. Uh, can you access to it? So we're gonna do an activity. I'm gonna explain instructions. Well, as you can see, I have an example here of what makes a hotel unique. And as you can see, I wrote some, some sentences. For example, I wrote, I think a hotel should, do you remember the word should? We learned it in the previous lesson. Okay, so yes, remember. in this case, I think a hotel should, one, have good accommodations, do have a nice pool. Do you remember the word accommodations? Yes, but uh, when you talk about uh, a good things that offers on a hotel? Yes. In this case, accommodation is the things that can, we can find in a hotel. For example, if it has uh, nice rooms, uh, restaurants, and all that sort of stuff. Okay. And then we have, I think a hotel should have good accommodations, should have a nice pool, etc. What you're gonna do here is to write a list of five different things that you think uh, can make a hotel unique, okay? Any questions with this activity? No, Let's it's write okay. here. I'm gonna no. write your name here. And I'm gonna write Mecca. Okay, so you can write uh, below your name, your sentences. Okay, so if you have any questions with vocabulary, please let me know and I'll tell you. Later. You can start right now doing this activity. It won't take us too much time.
Okay, guys. Well, I see that you wrote some sentences for some things that you consider would make a hotel unique. Well, let's start with Edgar. Would you like to read your sentences, please? I think uh, a hotel should have a new modern interior decoration, have a luxury bed with IE, have a huge pool with several juices, have at least five international restaurants, and have many hosters and concierge. Okay, excellent. Okay, well done, Edgar. Thank you so much. Eh, Mejame, would you like to read your sentences, please? Okay, okay. I, I think a hotel should uh, have a, a good design, have a great access to the beach, have a zoo, have a mini golf, have many halls. Okay, excellent, Mejame. A mini golf, in this case, we say a mini golf jar. Let me write. Ah, okay, okay. A mini golf jar. Okay. And have many horses. Uh, horses. In this case, we say horses because we are using many. Okay. Many horses. Okay. And your sentences are correct. Thank you so much. Well, do you have any questions with this activity or vocabulary in general? I don't know, I have a question. Okay, we good. So let's continue then. We have mm, 10 minutes to do, well, let me explain these parts. About, oh, well, have you ever written a message about a trip? No, I never write it. Okay, may I have him? No. Okay. Well, when we usually travel to some places, uh, we tend to write messages. Well, some people tend to write messages to other people uh, telling about their trip. In this case, we have this example of how to write a message or an email about a trip. As you can see, we have a series of different aspects that a message should have. Um, for example, you can start writing your message like this. Dear David, and then you can say if you are enjoying your stay. Si estás disfrutando tu estancia en ese lugar. For example, I'm writing you from Mexico. I'm having a wonderful time here. And then you can describe the place, food, or weather. Pueden describir el lugar, la comida, y el clima. For example, the weather is terrible, but the food is excellent. Okay, you can also say what you did in that place. For example, I went out on a fishing boat yesterday and, and then you can attach a photo and describe it. Say something you're going to do if, and like this. I'm attaching a photo of me on the boat. Tomorrow, I'm going to go hiking. See you soon. Love, Sophia. Okay. Como pueden ver, este es un breve mensaje de cómo hablar sobre un, algún viaje que hayan hecho o que estén haciendo en el momento. Ok, and for example, let's. Any questions with this vocabulary? Before I can explain the next. No, no. No, I have a question. Ok, so. Como pueden ver, esta es la estructura para escribir un mensaje o un email sobre algún viaje que hayan hecho o que estén haciendo en el momento. Como pueden ver, eh, empezamos de esta manera, con el saludo inicial. Luego podemos decir si estamos disfrutando del lugar. Podemos describir la comida, el lugar y el clima. Podemos contarle a esa persona algo que hayamos hecho. Y también podemos agregar o adjuntar alguna foto y describirla. ¿Okay? También podemos eh, decir qué es lo que vamos a hacer después. Y terminamos la, el mensaje con un pequeño saludo o despedida. See you soon. Love, Sofía. 
Okay, in this case, we're gonna do an activity very similar to this one. But in this case, we're gonna do it as homework, okay? Any questions with this activity? You're gonna do a very similar uh, message. You will have to write uh, about a trip that you have made. It, it doesn't matter if it has happened much time, you can write about it. Okay, any questions with this? No, I don't have a question. It doesn't have to be a very long message. It can be a very short message like this one. Okay, what, what are you going to send me this email? Okay, Edgar, are you ready on the Jammer group? Uh, I don't think so. The only link that I have is for recruit. Okay. Okay. Well, so let me. Wait a moment. So you're gonna send your homework to this email. Okay. Can you, did you get the email? I have. Okay, es josemo aloba te dat fai tv dare. Okay. Well, you can write your email on a Word document and also can be a PDF file. You can add some photos to your homework. It, it, it can be a very similar, um, like this one. Okay, any questions with this activity? No, no, I don't have questions. Okay, Benjamin, do you have any questions with this activity? No, 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 it's okay. Okay, so you can, um, you have till Thursday to send me this activity. It doesn't have to be, as I mentioned, no tiene que ser un, un mensaje muy largo. Puede ser igual como este que tenemos en pantalla. Muy simple, muy similar, muy breve. Y lo único que se requiere es que contesten estas o que incluyan estas, estos aspectos que tenemos en pantalla. Empezar de esta manera, describir si están disfrutando del lugar, hablar sobre la comida, etc. Contar lo que hicieron, agregar una foto si es posible y describirla. Y decir algo que vayan a hacer después y terminar con una despedida. Okay. Puede ser de esta manera o de la o con el diseño que ustedes usen. Ok. okay. In, in Yammer or for email. Ok. Benjamin, you can also send it on my email. It's okay. Okay. okay, okay, well. okay. well, guys, so far, uh, do you have any questions about today's topic? Uh, no, it, it's okay. It's okay. No. Well, can you mention some things that you've learned from this topic in general? The things about Unix hotels and, and how how to talk about a travel. Okay. Excellent, Mohamim. Thank you. Edgar, what have you learned today? Uh, well, we discussed uh, some uh some questions related to the uh, unique hotels uh, for example if you have ever stay in a hotel also we discuss about what it means the unique hotels uh well uh i learned a new word memorabilia uh, I think that's all. Okay, that's good. Thank you so much, Edgar. Well, guys, so if you don't have any more questions about today's topic or about homework, um, that will be it for today. And I'll see you on Thursday to continue practicing more about this. Is that okay? Yes, it's okay. It's okay. Thank okay. you, Jose. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Have a good day, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.